Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Just uh, give me a second here while we tweet out the stream and put it in the Discord. We'll have a little bit of Sunday hello people in Thessia, shall we? Welcome to the Australian inspired build, everyone. Some wonderful sunset views for you to enjoy from Ardak Yakshi that we did yesterday. Or on Friday, rather. And wonderful. Welcome in, everyone. Okay. Goodness, so many of you here already. Welcome, everyone. Happy Sunday to you all. Welcome to the live stream. To Claire, to Brad, to Scope, D6. Welcome in, mate. How are you? Uh, Jen, welcome on in. Bad Wolf, Renee, Ben, Marco, Claire again, Karina. Jen again, Star Stuff, Beth. Hello, Beth. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are you, everyone? Welcome to Ardak Yakshi. Hope we've had a wonderful weekend so far. I've had a tremendously productive day today. Been a very good one. So hopefully that's going to translate into the stream as well. Welcome in. Hey Glenn, how are you buddy? Adam, welcome to the stream mate, how are you? Nice to see you. We finally returned to Thessia. Yeah, I thought what we do with the live streams this year is just keep them in a rotation. That way we don't make too much progress away from the ep episodes. Because I've always found that a criticism of the live streams. Because for people that don't watch the VODs, quite a lot can happen if we stream the same city every week, so... Just keep them in rotation. So next stream after this will be Orchid Bay, then Edinburgh, then we'll be back in Thassia. So we'll we'll keep them um just rotating, I guess. Yeah. Sounds promising. Let's hope so, Claire. Let's hope so. Yes, I had a lot of spring clean, but either way, we're going to get stuck in some Thassia today. Yeah, so we're over by Ardak Yakshi because I want to make a little change to one of the houses that we had over here as part of our seaside resort stuff. It was actually based off a comment. Someone said. No, really nice house here, but their view is blocked by the fence, and it massively is. <laughs> so, I think we're going to put a key around this house if the terrain will sustain it, and then we'll do some nice fencing and just tidy this up a little bit. And then I think we're going to head over to Ascension uh, to do a lot of this detailing over here. A uh, lot of suburbia to do, so we'll probably finish Ascension today. Get some very cute little pathways crossing back and to across the creek. Maybe slightly embank the main road through the town, so it'll be a lot of fun. But uh, either way, let's start out with Ardak Yakshi, shall we? Fully on board with stream rotation. Yeah, I think it should help keep everything a little more fresher. Let me turn my headphones down here a bit. That's it. Four doors is extremely loud. Cool. Let's just clear up this. There we go. That should do us. So I reckon we're running a key to actually give the house a bit of a platform. Um, it's a small use of nodes, but we shouldn't really ever run into a node problem with Thessia just due to the nature of the build. Unlike Orchid Bay, which is on its last legs now. Very sad indeed, but nothing lasts forever, right? Um, so, I think we'll just do simple. I said we could do the, the fence one. That would fix both. It would save us having to do a prop fence then, wouldn't it? So, let's also leave our angle snap on as well. And... That should do it, I think. Maybe a touch of finagling required with some of the placements, but otherwise I'm happy with that. Uh, it's also node control these keys as well, because I want them to be squared rather than curved. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? And then we'll grab these nodes here. And let's bring everyone up touch closer trying not to change the terrain too much otherwise the props are going to start freaking out but we should be okay something like that i think it's a bit more appropriate isn't it yeah that's much nicer isn't it yes please i want to live in that house pretty please you can yes i always read your name as thessia dc <laughs> i don't know why Obviously very similar, isn't it? Uh, hey Magsy, welcome to the stream. Freyden as well. Mike Winterborn, how are you Mike? Welcome in, buddy. Uh, currently making some cream egg brownies. Has anyone tried the cream egg cookies from Domino's? Absolutely. 
lethal heart stopping stuff, but my word, are they delicious. I've really taken to cream eggs in my age. I used to hate them when I was a kid, but I'm very much on board with a cream egg now. Um, I think we'll also give this guy a bit of a driveway as well. Let's remove this stuff over here. Um, we'll probably... What orientation with the surface painter for this? God, do you know what? I really miss having the perfect aligned surface paints like we did in Ilos. Eggsy and Karina came in massively clutch for setting that up for me. <laughs> I do not realise I would be reliant so much on it for any surface painting work. But uh, turns out I am. Uh, let's give them a car as well, shall we? Yeah, let's do. We need a better selection of cars, I think. Actually, you know what? We could make this Mitch's private retreat. Should we do that? Should we make this Mitch's house? Maybe he's got Jerry over for a barbecue. Uh, let's have. We have a bit of a slope here, right? But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, let's have. Um, we'll make a little abode for Mitch and Jerry, and we'll pretend that the only cars Mitch owns is police cars. Right? We'll have that there. Um, let's bring. A little bit of fence work around, otherwise people can just walk into it here, can't they? Uh, got this one here is a little short. How about... There's almost too much choice in for fencing, isn't there? Could just do a hedge, actually. Yeah, let's do a hedge. Use one of these hedges from... Um... It was one of the free update hedges, I think, wasn't it? I believe it was. So we'll just border that off. There. Hey Picana, welcome into the stream. Sadly, I'm just in and out saying hello, unfortunately. It's 4.30 start, so after bed, look forward to catching the board. At likes and subs too. Thanks so much, Bad Wolf. Please sleep well. I'm sorry. It's uh, yeah, it's not a great a great time stream for our friends down under. But um appreciate you waiting up for it anyway, Bad Wolf. <laughs> Please go get some sleep. Thank you for hanging out, lovely. Appreciate you. I hope you've had a nice weekend as well. I think more of the Thessia dry belt might be a little more suited for here. And I would be against doing a few more of these houses in Ardak Yakshi, you know. I do find them quite tasteful. Uh, let's grab that hedge over here as well. Must make sure that the back garden is fully, fully boarded off here. Yep, happy with that. Uh, do we want to possibly adjust the terrain so it's not hiding as much as the key? Don't want to change it too much. That should probably be okay. We've got a little bit more room now to bring everything over here. A little bit more breathing room. Bring that over there. Right over this side. Up that. Maybe double that up as well. A slight angle and maybe like a sand pit or something. Maybe we've got some children in here. Sand pit and then we'll do another one of these little plants over here as well. Do that one. Do that tree. Also slightly there. And I think I'm pretty happy with that. It's a pretty nice location. I just want to change this um, ferry stop as well. Let's see if we can bring it onto a little bit of a pier. I'm not massively happy with how close the boats get to the beach. But we'll change this as well while we're here. So that's pretty nice, isn't it? Maybe they'd also have some furniture looking over the sea as well. Can we get some with these cabana lounges. Yeah, see we're starting to mess about with terrain here now, aren't we? So we'll have to be careful with them. Bring them up. Yeah, and we'll get a parasol here as well. Perfect. Oh bad wolf with the two ninety nine Australian doll super chat. Um, and for the fancy fences fund tonight. Oh, thank you so much, Bad Wolf. Really appreciate the donation, lovely. And yes, thank you for the fancy fences fund. <laughs> appreciate you. You sleep well. Uh, and then we'll get Mitch and Jerry in here as well, of course. So Jerry can be tending the grill. <laughs> the horse's face directly pressed into it. 
And then um, maybe Mitch can be... Can we set him in this seat, actually? It'd be tremendous if we could. Just look at that. That is a, that is a perfect... Sets and fits, isn't it? Stunning. Look at that. <laughs> Mitch and Jerry enjoying the barbecue, right? What a, what a story arc Jerry has had from escaping the sort of federal investigation firm in Ilos for his smuggling of illegal, actual illegal aliens to live in the high life <laughs> in Mitch's seaside retreat. Absolutely wonderful. Let's just. Actually, no live stream for once, not having to catch up. Oh my, welcome in, David. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for stopping by, mate. Thank you for stopping by. Um, Egg, I clipped that for Gnomes yesterday, so you can see the start of Jerry. Has he not seen it, has he? Welcome in, Bally, as well. How nice to see you, buddy. Egg, you should grab all the other bushes just to expand on the concrete one. It's a live save. But yes, I do need more bushes, Ben. I do need more bushes. Bulldozing sounds quite intense. Is it a little bit, um... A little bit loud, is it? Don't want to bring the volume down a touch. That'll hopefully help it, Scott. I'm um, currently recovering from norovirus. It's been awful, but I'm past the worst of it. I haven't eaten about 36 hours. That sucks, Poplar. Sorry to hear that. Do get well soon. Uh, I also like to binge an OE series while I'm feeling sorry for myself ill on the sofa. Last time it was COVID, I binged Noob's Guide again. That's very cute, Karina. Hopefully the Noob's Guide helped you recover. There's been some people watching Noob's Guide again recently, actually. It's been getting a few comments, which is always nice. Uh, wonderful. Right, so happy with this here. Um, let's sort out this ferry line. So I'm not sure exactly what I want this to look like yet. But uh, we will find out together. So let's just knock the ferry lines back for a second. And then you will come out... To... It's just going to push the land with it, isn't it, isn't it? Which is fine, I suppose. So about there. Is that far enough away from the beach? I think so. I think that's what I'm happy with. Bring it down toward the water a little bit as well, as low as we can get it. I'm pretty happy with that. And then we'll terraform this new height up to the beach again. Back to where it joins the land naturally. And then that same detail in palette should just be fine again as well. Yes, yeah. I think we might key up this little bit here. Kill with some wooden keys about now, actually. That would be quite nice. Maybe something to get from the workshop in future. Uh, let's grab our boat lines again and get this hooked in. Lovely. And then let's just, yeah, just drag that there. Do that. So let that flood. Bring this part down here. Let me put a little shop at the end, actually. Maybe a little, little bit of commercial. Just as you know, somewhere to grab a drink when you've got off the ferry, because it is, it is quite a, a ride from Ascension. It's not, it's not a quick journey by any means. And this looks like it's three wide, which means it's a job for the old, the old faithful catfish cafe, isn't it? I think it is. Uh, are we on the surface paint divide here? We are not. We use brushes instead then. Tie it up a little bit. That smells a brush, and we'll just extend a little eatery area out the side here. Then we'll bring this dirt down to. Make sure we keep that edge clean. That's about what I'm after. And then we can fill that with trees. Maybe a touch of Thessia dry belt through here. And then we'll embellish with larger numbers. 
I mentioned in the episode, I'm a big fan of the pine vibe that Teddy Radko brought into the, um, firstly around his interchange, Australian pineage, or kind of four-wheel Australian, if you like, is, is very nice. Big fan of it. Goes well with the gums, too. Yeah. Sure. I was surprisingly busy this ferry line. I thought it'd be much quieter than that. I thought it would be. I also want Nefarious Deeds is Mitch up to, that he can afford this fancy feature on the heart of the police. Sorry, that's a, that's a good point, Timothy. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. Maybe Moonshine or something? Something quite Aussie? I don't know. What What's the, the highest crime rate for in Australia? We'll make it that. Does anyone know? Another corrupt cop, yeah. <laughs> it, clearly, it clearly runs in the, um, in the family, doesn't it? So. I binged Ilos last week while sick. Yeah, Claire's going through Ilos at the minute as well. Thank you for all the comments as well, Claire. You've literally been commenting on like every Ilos video. <laughs> I appreciate it. Don't put him on the sandbox in that position. We won't. We won't. I feel like Jerry's your peacekeeper for all of the Egg Kingdom. If he's not smuggling illegal aliens, he's chilling in Thessia. Yes, he does have quite the criminal record now, though. I guess he's, he could be qualified as a bit more of a, a vigilante, I suppose, couldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Hey Tim, welcome to the stream, mate. How are you? Are you in San Francisco, yeah? You're on holiday now, I think, aren't you? If I remember rightly. I can't remember what it was. Mom says my nuggets eggs gone live. Welcome in, Timmy. We've got two Tims in today. Double Tim. <laughs> Catfish Cafe is clearly a very successful chain, it is, isn't it? It is like the Tesla of the OE city is the Catfish Cafe. They are established everywhere. It's just it's just the go asset, isn't it? Like you can't beat the Catfish Cafe. If you just need some small tasteful commercial, Catfish Cafe is the best. Undisputed champion of low density commercial. I will not hear otherwise. Get some tables out here anyway. Get the occasional Umbrella on them too, if I can spell. And maybe a white one in there too. How about this? Um, I don't think we will key this up actually. I think we'll actually rock it up. Um, I think kind of treating it, not as like a breakwater, but that same sort of, I guess, aquatic engineering, for lack of a better phrase. If that's the right terminology. Something like that. I'm going to bring someone's under the water. Can't really tell, but we'll know it's there. So be happy with that. Let's get some smaller shrubbery as well to hide the difference in textures there too. And now for a smaller brush size. Appreciate 115 of you as well, spending some time in a modded Thessia stream. We realise Thessia is the least popular of the series, so I do appreciate you guys actually going to turn up for these. It's a lot nicer to not be sat on my own, <laughs> so I appreciate it. There we go, that'll do I think we're in it. Maybe some um, little fern shrubs as well. Lovely. Yeah, I think it's much better, isn't it? Just having that out in the water a little bit. Definitely when I saw that in the episode, I was like, yeah, that needs to be further away from the coastline, I think. Yeah. Uh, Tereg is ubiquitous catfish cafes are a popular spot for first dates. They are, they are E&B. Welcome in E&B as well, by the way. How are you, buddy? And how's the dog egg? I believe before my haters, you got yourself a little pup. Can't remember his or her name, unfortunately. Coco? Yeah, Coco's good, mate. Yeah. Um, I've had Coco for... Two years now. You you were here. But when did when did I get Coco? I mean, it was three years, wasn't it? I got her in twenty twenty one. You were around and I had Coco, weren't you, Valley? I'm pretty sure you were. But uh, yeah, she's good, mate. We've just been out for a walk. She's um currently passed out on her couch, cuddling a pink octopus. She's is the toy of choice today. 
Uh, could someone suggest a good realistic European map with more rural than one highways, not the generic CS2 lane? I'm not massively familiar with many European maps. Um, Crusanus, am I pronouncing that right? I think I am. Someone in the live chat might be able to um, advise you. Coin Laundry is a huge franchise in Exit City. I'm a fan of Coin Laundry as well. Coin Laundry is a good asset. But anything from that King Leno pack is like top tier. Fantastic. And the bookstore as well, Karina, yeah. And the bookstore as well. It's Tim Takeover. It is Tim Takeover, isn't it? Sponsored by Tim today on the live stream. Hey Atlantic, welcome to the stream, mate. How are you? And Lloyd Boy Beats, welcome in, buddy. Welcome in, guys. In Canada, we call it coastal engineering. That's good to know. Yeah, it seems like a better phrase, doesn't it? Uh, right, I think that's all I wanted to do in Ardati, actually, for today. Um, The next bit of fun is going to be had over in Ascension. Which is a town we haven't really been to uh, for quite a while, I don't think. Not since the airport episode, at least. But I did mention um, in these episodes that I would like to develop some suburbia um, out here one day. So that's what we'll spend uh, today doing. So first of all, let's hop into Google Maps. And we'll go and head to Cairns, of course, which is what Ascension is primarily inspired by. Um, so we're building at the foot of a mountain here. So I'm pretty sure there is, if I remember rightly from my um, days looking at Google Earth. Yeah, there's a, a big mountain here in Cairns itself, so basically a lot of this low-density suburbia here would be great to take inspiration from. There's even a really cool thing here as well. Is that just someone's private massive mansion, is it? I think it is, isn't it? Looks like it anyway. Interesting one, but uh, uh, Valley Lad, that's really kind, mate. Valley plays with a £19.99 super chat. Um, I've not donated in a while. Great to see you streaming more like before. Thank you so much, Valley. I really appreciate that, but it's super generous of you. Um, thank you for the donation, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the more frequent streams again. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, hey, I just a suggestion. Maybe an abandoned railway station would be great at the island chain. It would, Arctech, yeah. It would. I think we had a, a comment like that on the on the episode, actually. Um, an abandoned station would be cool. Um, I do agree, yes. Um, anyway, Google Earth Inspiration. Um, so just notice this roundabout here. There's like, looks like commercial. On the edge of the roundabout there, doesn't it? With a little bit of parking. That's great inspiration. What have we got here? Woodward Street Bakery and Kitchen. Coffees, pastries, cakes and sourdough. Wonderful. Oh, oh is that um? Oh, the shops... <laughs> the shops change as you move on the street angle. When, when was this? May 2015? Wait, what, what was that one before? Is it, wait, the butchers became a vet. That's hilarious. <laughs> no way. No one had a change of heart there. It was the same owner. So 2015, it was a butcher's. And what, what was this? Ramson's Fish and Chips. And then it became <laughs> someone turned the butchers into a vet. That's hilarious. Absolutely classic. Absolutely classic. Oh, Brad plays Cities with a 2.99. Australian Donald Super Chat, Thessie Love, Brad Love. Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate your support, mate. Thank you for that. Appreciate the donation, buddy. I'm glad you're enjoying Thessie. Which, which you are kind of obliged to as an Australian. <laughs> if you will enjoy the series. Well, this is what I'm after, right? Little roundabouts here. Um, there's a lovely little bit of green belt here, isn't there? Kind of a little oval, little playground spice in there, too. What's that? Just a, an Australian pole sticking out the ground. Looks lovely. A little bit of rural power line flowing through the suburb there as well, isn't there? That's great inspiration. Little power line junction, actually. Wonderful. Look, another one over here as well, isn't there? Just generic green belt with some planters there, actually. Some little flower, flower beds there, isn't there? But, um, very tropical, lots of grass, a couple of roundabouts, and lots of low-density Australian designs. Oh, look at this one as well. I love all the green belt around this bit of Cairns, actually. There's, um, 
It's very nicely woven into the suburbia, isn't it? Has to be sad. I do like that. Anyway, perfect inspiration for. Oh, we can't get up here, can we? Is this someone's just someone's massive house? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, well maybe we can build another mansion then. It looks like he's slightly elevated on the hillside there, doesn't he, Mister Moneybags? So we'll, we'll we'll get a bit of that going as well. Probably. That is what we like to see. Cool. So there's a roundabout over here. I imagine in terms of road hierarchy. That this road is eventually going to meet up with that one. And it's probably not going to go any further down there. So let's do a little... Soften in here just to blend in the terrain. Because terrain is going to be quite a big feature of this suburb, I think. I think we'll almost actually start out just by marking out where we want that massive mansion house. Which you can probably do another seaside resort build for that, actually. Give me his own little tennis court and whatnot. Play all this out. And we'll eventually hook back into this roundabout over here. And we've got natural resources as well here, haven't we? Which we will do a little bit of um, resource painter, but not this much for the time being. Let's just clear a lot of that away. And then we'll use it sparingly throughout the build, I think. Cool. Oh, Claire Flack with a £2 super chat. Massive fan. Glad to be part of your community. It's very cute, Claire. We're, um, we're glad you are a part of our community as well. Thank you so much for the super chat, lovely. Um, thank you for re-watching Hylos. <laughs> it always helps it. Bubble in the algorithm again. Appreciate you, Claire. Thank you. Cool. So let's have this here. So there's not any major four lane roads running through the suburb here so i'd like to keep the same designs we had in ascension in terms of these little roundabouts being quite cute so why don't we do that we'll do four units and then we'll let the smaller roads take priority in terms of the hierarchy if you like so let's first of all Establish the shape, so we'll come in here. Now, looking back at the Google Maps of the bit we're looking at in Cairns, it is actually quite gridded. It's not massively free-flowing, so I'd like to maintain that grid structure. So why don't we pan out the grid off of, like, that axis, and then we'll have it run into sort of increments like that, so we can form up main grid around here and then we'll have our main collector road come through so let's do one more grid up this way and then we'll have our main collector run through that turn on a bit of road guideline through here as well oh we hit uh, 95,000 subscribers today as well everyone thank you so much for all supporting that it's, uh, it's pretty crazy, so if you have been part of the 95,000 subscriber journey, appreciate you all. Channel is... Went on for five years old in April, so thank you for just watching and being lovely little delicious people like you all are. Appreciate you. Uh, same over here again as well. We'll do the pretty similar entrance off of the roundabout. We're going to have to reset the IMT here as well, but that's okay. And then we'll do... Those little manual roundabouts again too. Probably with um with grass actually, I think is my favourite thing. So let's do like four units on 135 degrees, wasn't it, I think? Something like that. And then we'll bring this in from the side. We're good to go ahead actually and find some sort of little service industry that operates around here to kind of fill some out of line space but we'll worry about that in a second so lots of very large sweeping soften across here because i don't want much cliff texture showing in the suburb i just want this to be as smooth as humanly possible something like that should be okay all the way through here as well lots and lots of soften Cool. That should be good. 
Uh, didn't know there was a stream this morning. Boy, good morning. It is really pearly. It's even better now you're here, mate. Thank you for turning up. Nice to have you here. Oh, that was Claire's first super chat as well. Thank you so much, Claire. Appreciate your first donation, lovely. Very kind of you. Never had the cash. I'm not I'm not surprised with the heating. <laughs> it's constantly breaking down, isn't it? That's a lot of hillside to work with. Perhaps a tiered terrace suburb. We can definitely get some tiered and layering in for sure. Definitely can. Been watching Prussian Peaks again. That is a very old stream. A very old stream. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes, real to 100k. It's very, very nice. Very nice. Nice 100k is with something. Need to get your thing. You can walk 100k sub special. Um, I think it's just going to be. Probably just do something with Coco. Do a day out with Coco, maybe. <laughs> we'll have that as a sub special. Cool. Anyway, let's start forming up some more interesting suburban designs here. So. We'll stick with 20, because like I said, it is relatively gridded in in cans. We'll add that there, but that does need a little bit of network multi-tool, I think, does it? Yeah, because we've forced in a node there where it didn't really want one, so we'll just amend it. Uh, and then let's do this one here. I want to pick up some of those shapes we get, so why don't we have it on this through road so we'll do six units in we'll come up by five not by five as well seven units so we'll do it like here and then we can clear out all this get these roads together and then just start to break up the grid with little interesting patterns like that Also start bringing down some little border sat roads too. And um, we don't need this one here. And um, we could we could look to slightly elevate this road here, which I definitely wouldn't be against because we do have an embankment coming off of the interchange. Which, by the way, how nice is this end up working out? Quite cute traffic flow in this. He says as it starts to back up, but just AI stupid now. We really like how this one turned out. Um, yeah, I think I do just want to bank it. Let's pick up the node of the road. So that's all that we grab. And if I was to just say all oh, this section and a little bit of this one to become the same height as this node, what does that embankment look like from the suburb? And he just wanted to have a little bit of cliff texture is what I'm after with that, I think. Really nice views to Ascension from here as well. Maniac Mina with a 10 US dollar super chat. What a legend. Good morning, Vietnam. Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much, Mania. Really appreciate you, buddy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you pop into the Discord as well the other day. Appreciate the donation, my friend. Thank you for the support. Um... Grab all those again. And these as well. Maybe just touch further up. Are we on board with the embanked um embanked road? I think I am. Just when we soften it out, we can get some tunnels coming underneath it as well. I think it'd be quite nice. Although we do need to network multi slope all this down here though. So we do this. Special. Some IMT to do here as well. But uh, yeah, I, th I think I'm on board with that. Although there's a strange little sort of off kink in the road there, isn't there? Let's uh, redraw that one. Got a little road guideline here too. Uh, node count in Thessia. I should have watched it on. It's not very high. I think the last time I checked it, it was on like 27%. It's not a lot. That's not the one we want, is it? Uh, net nodes in Thessia currently is 43%. God, it was a long time ago I checked it then. 
Over 43% of the node count for Thessia so far. It's fine. Because Thessia is like a county country build, we won't run into issues with the node count, I don't think. Uh, right, let's continue. So I want to have one of those roundabouts in here as well. So let's continue to build up off the grid here. Gonna go back to Google Earth. So let's do some more Cairns inspired roads. Let's bring you guys up to here. Start connecting. These little triangles here are perfect for green belt to develop. So we'll do 20 down here. Then we'll do another 10. Bring that back up. Send this one up here. And then we'll do a little cul de sac at the end here, I think. Let's do 150% on that one. I do want some more grass roads here, too. I think like I don't use grass lining enough in this, yeah. Maybe this sort of central collector can all be grass lining. In that part three to there. Oh, camera glitch. Well, I'll catch you later because work calls. I know I can't call in sick. You lucky folks, enjoy the rest of the stream. Don't forget to hit the like. Star stuff. One day, you will have to call in sick for us. I'm going to keep putting the streams on a Sunday <laughs> until until we get you to pull a sickie. One day it will happen. But uh, either way, lovely. Thank you for hanging out. Please enjoy your day at work. Hope it goes okay. Um, let's mimic the road structure here as well, and um, we'll bring this down here, and then we'll have that one come up to the top, and we'll do another stretch here too. Let's do 150% again. Cool. So, let's pick out a nice spot for... Mr. Moneybags to live. Where do we want? So the highest point in the hillside suburb would be the best. Which, looking against the lateral line, is about... Or here, isn't it, maybe? He is going to have the scenic railway coming behind him, but he's going to have to deal with that. Um, I missed a comment, oh, did I? Jerry has a dog who is always sleeping. He absolutely does have a dog that's always sleeping. Uh, good morning, Gig. How are you and the puppy doing? Good morning, everyone else. Me and the puppy doing well. Thank you, Fire Police. How are you, buddy? Welcome into the stream, mate. Welcome into the stream. And uh, Santino Adelini as well. Good morning, buddy. Or oh, Buongiorno, I guess, right? It's Italian. Ciao, come stai, amico. How are you? Uh, woke up, the phone was dead, had to charge it for a good join. Well, important thing is you're here now, fire, please. Um, so, yeah, let's mark out a little territory for money bags to live. We'll go over here, I think. Um, and then we'll just put a seaside resort asset down so we know what's going to sit up here. Let's do... Pretty nice house to live in, right? Bit of a long boy, but I'm on board with it. Uh, and let's just grab everything to the same height as the node on the road. Cool. So we'll, we'll leave that there. We'll come to him when we start placing houses down. Um, I definitely want to imitate that roundabout that we saw in Google Earth with all the commercial. So why don't we base this here? Um, it does look like... Let me turn off my street view here. Got one, two, three, four... Five entrances onto it. So I think we will use actual roundabout builder. And it's just two lane road, so... Mm. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. 
Um, we'll do traffic manager for it, so everyone flows as they should. Lastly, I have to remove this one to imitate it. So it's almost like there's a little, a little parking lot road here. Um, let's do poorly maintained. So we'll do three, and then. stretch are poorly maintained like that. These are going to have to be the same height, otherwise placing the car parking is going to be an absolute friggin' nightmare. So we'll bear that in mind. What are we here? Four units. Have that there. So if we can get everyone here to be the same height as this over there. And then we'll do a network multi-slope on here. I realise this is a lot of Asking about with the road network setup, but it'll be worth it. Thought it was important, right? Then soften that out again. That's pretty much what we're seeing, guys. But I've got to say, I'm not a massive lover of that roundabout. I think we'll actually do a little custom one again. Let's come back to one way grass line roads and we'll just go. Six units. In each direction. Cool. And then some height set up here as well. This and we'll hide all of our markings here too. Cool. So we'll start placing some suburbs here then. We'll start designing the build from this way. It's going to be a lot of low density suburb today, so settle on in everyone. We'll probably be here for the rest of the stream. There's a lot to do over this way. Cool. I don't mind. Oh, do I mind the grass in the middle? No, I don't. It's fine. I don't mind it at all. Uh, so we got quite a few trees through here as well. So let's do all this up. Start having some fun. Uh, again, it's, it's very tropical. We've got to bear in mind we're back in Ascension now, so the palette tends to turn more towards palms and gums as opposed to the, the conifers and the pines that we've been so fond of. My police came in with a $2 USD super chat. Uh, guys, 153 of us and only 53 likes. Get it going up. Thank you so much, Fire Police. Very kind of you, mate. I really appreciate you. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Uh, the roads near the highway are perfect for commercial buildings. You should put on a barbershop. Uh, you know, like, mean like a little frontage, sort of commercial strip? Be down for that. Be down for that. Right, let's just go ahead and actually do a broad search for palms. Let's get some date palms to go as well. We like the date palms and... Lulas, do the oh yeah there they go there they go I was wondering like where's the royal workshop palms what they are here and then just some base grasses just so it's not all brown I think it'd be welcome go cool. get the parking in here so they drive on the dark side of the road this should be orientated correctly thank you for the donation as well fire please I said thank you mate appreciate you. Uh, so let's have some disabled spaces there. Um, let's do... These ones here. But I say, as much as I do appreciate parking being present at the launch of CS2, I do miss the configurability of parking lot roads it is a very good way of doing it um so there was a lot of kind of older aussie shops wasn't there was a but there's not a butcher's asset in cs2 is there not that i can think of anyway so i think we'll go for some of our older town aussie stores Um, yeah, some, 
Some King Leno's might be appreciated, actually. Some of the bars, nothing overly modern, really. Um, what else do we have here? Including the Catfish Cafe. I feel like a little drive through burger place might be quite appropriate here. Sort of similar vibe to what we're seeing there, isn't it? In, um, in Cairns, at least. Oh my god, finally the time zones have aligned and I can watch a live stream. Welcome in, CB. You are very welcome. Nice to have you here. Parking lot will be a circuit. Probably will. I like it though. It'd be nice. Maybe a medicine drugstore near a tunnel by the highway. Yeah, I'd like to explore those networks. That's actually why we're talking about tunnels. Um, I'd like a little pedestrian pathway to come under the main route. So where would it most make sense for that to connect to sort of central ascension? Um, probably here, right? Now, there's of course the rail line to contend with, but wouldn't actually mind doing a little bit of jiggery pokery here to quote Biffa. We just have that there. I realise this is gone insane now, so we'll have to change how this connects up. That should be okay. Square that off and remove a node. No, we don't need it. So let's set this to the same height as the rail crossing. And then we'll essentially allow people to cycle across the creek to connect back up with Ascension. So, what path do we want? Should we line some up and make a choice together? Zoo path is always a fan favourite, isn't it? But the zoo path is, of course, just regular vanilla, which isn't offensive by any means. There's also. Do we like amusement park pathway? We do, it's not awful. And then there's a regular park, which is a little bit underwhelming, isn't it? So I think for crossing kind of ye old creek, nature reserve is always a is always a favourite, isn't it? Yeah, frontage roads only. Two to three commercials, kinda of old looking. Yeah, I'll be on board with that arc tech. We can do that. I do enjoy a frontage. Hey Muke, welcome into the stream. Uh, a water tower would go nice in that roundabout wood valley. We'll, we'll put a water tower in there actually. Good idea. There's an outcrop that is even higher. Might have nice views. I don't want to take it above the train line though. I want this to remain kind of rural. Well, not rural, well, kind of wild Australia basically because of, um, of what the town of Samara is based around. So I don't really want to cross the rails with housing. We'll probably keep him there, I think. I guess, yeah, you're right. Maybe over there, E&B, actually. Might be a good shout up this way here. He does have more views of the sewage pond over here, though, rather than the town. Ben, content creator. Content creator paths indeed, Ben. You're very, you're very right. American pedestrian bridge. That one is quite nice, actually. It's one we never, ever use, either. Yeah. Versus zoo path, original path, zoo, nature reserve looks better. Interesting. I might be on board with Ben. I think the content creator one, the one we never use, might also be the go to. It's kind of got the older vibe to it because it's got the wooden slats on it. And like the. And looks a bit like raw iron, doesn't it? It's not too modern, which is something I want to avoid. I think Ben wins the day then. I think we'll go with Content Creator Bridge. Um, so, do we just want to connect you straight the way here? Yeah, I think we do. Make sure we're at the same height as we arrive across the creek. 
And then we'll grab this one, which I think is just regular on the floor. Half, isn't it? Yeah, when it's not there, which, which is fine. I don't mind that. And then from this point, let's go to here. Might actually go for a propless network here, but we'll we'll come to that in a second. So um how do we want to do this? Let's do this one here. Um does this path not tunnel underground? It does, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Why isn't it doing it with the other one? Maybe because it's content creator, maybe. So, pretty happy with that. And just emerge very gently out the other side. Not quite like that. <laughs> that's, just not, that's not been executed amazingly, has it? Let's come under again. Let's bring it under quite a bit a little bit more and then we'll come back to earth and we we'll use move it to adjust any awkward nodes now let's come underground i just want to pull that one back ever so slightly let's see also pull this one forward a bit too Yeah, God, there's a lot of death in a sense, isn't there? Jesus. Load of people. <laughs> Load of people just died in a sense. Obviously not happy with the developments going over. Oh, there's one of Brad's OE trucks. Look at that. Look at that. Delicious. Uh, yeah, I think actually just come down a tiny little bit. Uh, let's go. Just don't want the top of that tunnel to be flush with the road. And then let's set this one to the same height as well. Cool. Yeah. Um, so they said I wanted a, a propless path for that one. So I think we'll go propless nature reserve. Yeah, more after. Oh, that's a bit of a... Can we node control that? We can node control it. I was expecting that to work, but there you go. Just a little bit of a dodgy connection there, isn't there? So just change them to middle segments and we should be okay. And connect that up there as well. Cool. Now we got that in. We can just have a whole bunch of soften against this arterial road now. That should blend it back into the suburbia a little bit more. And then we'll bring that Thessia Forest push back through as well. Goodness me, man. Caleb Dawson with a 30 Australian dollar super chat. Thanks for the awesome content. My vanilla console cities are so much better. I've watched every playlist on your channel. Keep up the work. That's super kind, Caleb. Thank you for your first donation on the channel as well, mate. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you for enjoying the content. <laughs> You're very, very, very welcome. Appreciate you watching, buddy. Uh, thank you for the donation. Very, very generous of you. Cool. So let's have our Aussie Forest plug the highway back up to the treatment plant up this way. And then same back here as well. I think I might just treat this as a little bit of um, drier wasteland between here. There's a lot of green belt too. Actually, this is a good spot for a little bit of surface painter. Resource painter just to dry out this land here occasionally. A little bit of a different texture to it. I actually prefer a little bit of ore instead. Let's bring that strength down a bit though. It's a little bit too powerful there, I think. Just an occasional little sparse click. Don't want it to totally dominate. Oh, wicked. You've already got someone using it. Fantastic. There we go.
Uh, yeah. So I think we'll put the frontage over here that um, Art wanted to do. We'll do a little bit of a frontage commercial system over this way when we get over here. But uh, either way, let's turn back to the roundabout now. What does the OE truck deliver? Um, it's just a... Um, industrial vehicle. Yeah. No credit here with the other trucks. Oh god, I'm so sorry, Brad. No, these these are Terry's trucks, yeah. Thank you for shouting that out, Brad. <laughs> I credited the wrong asset maker. Yes, th those are Terry's trucks, not not Brad's ones. Brad did the um Sanction ones. Could have um, an advert for Ascension rum out here at Brothers. Which one do we want? Always smooth, never bitter, so good. <laughs> I really, really love that. Um, yeah, should we do this one? Right by the highway, driving into the um, into the town. That's pretty nice, right? Big shout out to brothers for those. And thank you for owning up to that brothers. Yep, that's the wrong one. The wrong one. Right, water tower, i.e. Valley lad. Wouldn't mind having that here at all. Do we need water actually? Yeah, we do. We do need water. And then we'll get some overgrowth around here and then we'll start plopping some houses so we can actually see people uh, walking around this bit of town. And we'll get some smaller overgrowth over here as well. And try and stick into more. I feel like I could do with making a couple of different forest brushes for this here. One a more pine kind of boreal look, with the other being relatively tropical. Yeah, be down for that. Oh, I love seeing the scenic train go through there. That's very cool. Uh, right, yeah, let's start plopping some suburbs. Um, so we'll filter down for our tags. We'll go for no, no tags, not filters. We got forty-seven assets within our single-story homes. That's pretty spectacular for what I want, actually, so... It definitely is all, um... Sort of single-story homes around here. So we'll keep... Nice variation coming in. Uh... We'll have these ones actually facing into the cul-de-sac here and save the collector to not be zoned up. Let's just spin these around. That's not the right house for here. Let's get a different one than that. Um, let's just jump in to find it. Let's do... We'll just find a more appropriate one. That's perfect. Let's do that one. Into the same heights here. Turn them around a little bit. Cool. And then let's tree up where we want to hide some of the junk in the texture. Cool. Let's start getting some people moving in. And then we can start seeing all the networks that we put in come to use a little bit more. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do them all around here. We'll jump back into Google Maps in a second as well. Um, I want to see what was in this green belt that we picked out. There was flower pots in one of them as well, I think, if I remember rightly, wasn't there? It is like top 10 satisfactions when you pick an asset from this finder filter and it fits the size you want. That'll do. I'll see finish off the grids up here as well. We realize we haven't actually finished the road network, have we? So let's do 20 up here. Should 
be fine. And let's. I don't want these houses getting too close to the scenic railway. So let's come down on back onto the road guideline here. That's what I'm after, I think. And then we'll do some connections through this way as well. Uh, let's set up that front. What do we want to do over here? We don't really want ascension going out over here either, because there's a lot of death. We're having a big death wave at the minute, aren't we? There's a ton of dead people in um, Valkyrie as well. Do we need death care? Uh, yes, we do actually. We do. Um, let's just put a crematorium in there to keep dealing with them. Yeah, I don't really want ascension growing out too far this way. So we'll come back to that in a second, I think, actually. Uh, yeah, let's set up that little frontage system here. Um, where we've got. A little bit of awkwardness that's threatening to develop with the heights here, so why don't we, we come down to this height here. That doesn't make our tunnel another way. What is going on with the death care? Are you okay? Now have we got traffic through here? Not the train crossing, is it? Is it just the traffic lights? It might be. Um, I want them on at the entrance, but maybe this one on the main street can just chill. I think that's why. Unless that's a... That's not a service point issue, is it? No, they're on the road. Yeah, it should be okay. I think there's just a lot of hearses in here, isn't there? Yeah. I think Ascension's only death care is over here. Maybe we need to build a graveyard for Ascension then. It's only got one cryopreservatory. That's not keeping up with the demand for the dead, is it? Uh, right, yeah, so we'll set up a frontage network here. Um, let's have some commercial. We'll have a pretty similar setup to what we've got over by Roundabout. Have that there, and what we'll do a little bit through there as well, and same height everywhere. Think about that. I don't mind having the slight elevation here; it's quite nice actually. And then at some point, yeah, we'll do. Connection back in there as access into it. We're pretty happy with that. Now let's do node controller actually on these as well. Cool. Uh, egg, please consider a cricket field to us. Let's have a little hydration break. I'm talking a lot. We'll go enjoy the skyline of Ascension. Have a little catch up here because I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking. <laughs> Not much reading of chat. Yeah, let's have um, a posture check and a hydration break, please, all. Where are we at? Um, let's go up more. Get down here. Okay, there's a nice little view from the um, Ascension beach up this side of the town. Oh, right, let's have a little. Oh, yeah, what's the button you press to find it? Shuffle assets. Um, Alt B, freedom. Will, ran will randomly pull an asset from your current preset find it filters, is what you want to do. Uh, you need more population? Um, yeah, it'll, it'll come. It'll come. What we're doing right now. <laughs> Uh, am I the only CS player who places loads of sports stadiums pitches in my cities and towns? We all need some inter-town sports rivalry. I do like placing sports fields. I feel like I'd probably do more of them now. We'll put a sports field in this one, actually. 
I imagine a church in this community. Yeah, that's a good good call up of mind. I think we'll do a church to help service some of the death care around Ascension. We'll add it in this side of the suburb. Uh, yeah, please consider a cricket field. Yeah, we'll put some cricket in. That's a good shout. Hey, Diego, welcome into the stream. That's a canvas right there. Yeah, it's a nice shot, that, isn't it? It's a nice one. I, re I really like Ascension. It was a nice little break from the CBD. Hey, Maximum, welcome into the stream, mate. How are you? How are you? Uh, Jen had too much wine and whiskey last night. You're mixing wine and whiskey, Jen. That sounds horrendous. I'm assuming not mixing the same drink, but to be like, oh, I'll have a glass of wine, then a shot of whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Um, along Aussie highways, they'll have larger petrol stations with truck stops and a few cafes. Food stores, maybe good gap filler. Perfect gap filler, Lloyd. Perfect gap filler. So see, later on, we can um, pop into... I'll tell you, that's what I wanted to do, actually, wasn't it? Let's go ahead and... Um, hop into um, the street view again because I wanted to have a look at those green belts, didn't I? Looks like there's a little bit of park infrastructure over here, if you like, isn't there? Uh, they're just very tiny playgrounds, aren't they? There's a slide, a gazebo, and one swing set, and that's it. A little bench under the gazebo as well, there, isn't it? It's pretty easy. Yeah, I'd really love to visit Cairns. I know that's going to trigger Brad because he's very anti Queensland. Some nice IMT here as well, actually. Very inspiring IMT, isn't it? Yeah, is there anything else in this suburb of note that we've overlooked? Oh, there's a cemetery here. Oh, it's a big one as well. well. There you go. If we want. Perfect. Oh, is it, is it a war one? Oh, no, there's just a section of war, isn't there? Okay. Well, then otherwise it's kind of public cemetery, isn't it? Okay. Well, there you go, then. There's some cemetery in but It's a big one as well, that isn't it, in Cairns? The fair old size. Is that the Google the Google van just driving through the graveyard? It is, isn't it? Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> just a bit. I thought it might have just been someone like taking pictures, but no, the Google van is just driving through the graveyard. Could you imagine that if you like sat morning at a grave and the Google van just takes a picture of you and then your grief is immortalized in Google in Google Maps? I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> just a bit a little bit morbid, isn't it? Okay. So is the is the graveyard split in two? Cairn Cemetery. There's there's no street view in that other side. No, yeah, it's just grass, isn't it? Yeah, you can see it here. It's just grass. Okay. I was gonna say are these more war memorials, but it is just grass, isn't it? Okay, there's a nice little industrial unit in the centre of Cairns as well there, isn't there? Look at that. Where is it industrial? There's, there's, a, there's a lot of tennis courts. <laughs> there's a lot of tennis courts there, isn't there? Yeah, Cairns is, um, is great for inspiration. It's a really good uh, idea to come build a town off of this. It's been a, it's been a fun one for sure. Uh, is there any Italian communities in Australia that have delis, bakeries, and other small shops? There are some communities like that in America. I know there's a big pollution of Italians there too. Um, I couldn't tell you, Santino. Um, maybe Brad might know. Brad, do you tend to get many kind of um, sort of Australian Italian communities? I guess it's not kind of a a dual nationality. I've heard a vast amount of before. So I'd, I'd say so. Uh, no, we don't want cafes here, really. Not on the strip mall. Let's keep it to actual commercial. Get a coin laundry in. Bookstore as well. Always a good, good shot, isn't it? A little bit of this run-down brick commercial is always a favourite. Yeah, I'll let one of the Australians answer that. I couldn't 
vouch for the um, Australian Italian community. Uh, yeah, have a little greasy motel in here as well. Um, Cram burger. Also, do you want any of our custom commercial? We don't have a lot of custom commercial for Thessy, actually. We are relying a lot on the vanilla pool. Uh, which is by choice, of course. Uh, but red brick is the order of the day here, I think. Just a lot of detail. If we just search in one, does that filter out all the level one assets for us? One of the King Levels Mall stuff, that's all far too fancy. Too fancy as well. Wouldn't mind having that one here actually. And then just to help hammer home the corner asset vibe here. Let's bring that back up and then we'll drag those nodes out as well. Something akin to that I think is what I'm after. Yep, perfect. Pretty happy with that going off the highway, I think. Oh, there's a bit of a dip in the road there, though, isn't there? Let's, um, let's sort that out. Just come up to that one there. We need to IMT this as well. We'll do that. Yeah, let's get our parking in. We'll have our disabled spaces up at the front. And then we'll move back to regular for the rest of it. node work needed there as well, the um, parking decals are sinking ever so slightly into the earth, there we go. And I reckon we'll just want a bit of Thessia dry between the um, highway and the store itself, that's a little strong though, let's bring that down. There we go. And we'll bring trees around the back here as well. And I think we'll hand pick the occasional large number too. Go for the odd gum. Leafy tree as well. Might even put a crash barrier on this highway ramp as well. I think if there's kind of big tall trees here, kind of coming off at high speed, it's almost tempting fate a little bit, isn't it? Sorry, I um, got a shoot off for work, unfortunately. By the way, I had a promo in work, so now I'm an op oh, promotional. Oh, promo. Yeah, even promotion. So now I'm an operational supervisor. So I'm in the big chair. Those poor drivers take care, mate. Enjoy the stream. Well, well done on the promotion, value, lad. That's great news for you, buddy. I'm happy to hear that. Saving for you as well, being off the road as well, right? I bet that's um, I bet that's a relief. Thank you for hanging out, mate. Nice to see you again. You uh, enjoy your shift at work. Um, so we'll change this to a decorative network. Hey, Egg, how you doing? I'm doing good, Alexander. How are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Um, yeah, a little road barrier is perfect here. Yeah. So we'll use IMT and then we'll say between intersections, I think. Yeah, I like that little frontage commercial. Pretty tasty that, isn't it? Nice little way to come off the highway too as well. Now that height change you made isn't raising the top of the bridge, is it? There we go, I need a truck to come through. Oh, no, I've still got plenty of space, it's good, it's good. Fantastic. Big fan of that. Yeah, cool. Let's keep popping houses in. There's a lot to do today. Let's, say, let's um, arrange our, our other assets as well. Um, we wanted cricket in here as well, didn't we? 
So let's make space for that before we put any more houses down. So there's... Suburban and community. Community being quite a bit bigger. Yeah, definitely suburban, isn't it? So not right by the highway. Um, why don't we have this off on a corner? Maybe here, and we'll change where that little L bend appears. No, that's not the right one. Make sure we choose the right one. There we go. Again, putting this on a hillside would actually prove to be quite a pain. I think we're not going to get away with the angle, are we? We'll have to position it slightly differently. Just place it down on this one instead. That's a lot easier to do, isn't it? So can we get it sit there? So I don't want this to be on the edge. I'd rather this be kind of in the community. So I want to make sure the land behind it is receptive to a road at least. Push out and do some softening where we can just so there's no cliff texture appearing and maybe just budget slightly along so the change in terrain there isn't quite as obvious cool and then we'll grab one of our roads from here and we can start feeding these together with that I think. Cool, so let's plop some more of our houses around the bottom or around this green belt anyway. Uh, so I'll have them facing into it. Sets there. And another room for a little 2x2 two two here, isn't it? Perfect. Look at that. Just, just uh, ask for a 2x1, it comes up as well. Perfect. Um, right, let's do that little. Uh, what's it called? Green belt design we saw. So it was just a very simple. Pathway, cutting through the middle, and then off one side we'll keep that angle stuff on. We had kind of a gazebo and a playground, which we'll put in here, and then from this one we'll go right down the middle. So we do have some prop gazebos available. We'll have a look at that one's perfect, I think, isn't it? So we'll have. One here. There was a bench underneath it. Well, I think table actually is more what they're trying to search for, isn't it? Yeah, that sort of stuff. Have one of these. And then we'll filter down for part props here. And what was it we saw? There was a slide, wasn't there? So let's go for. This one. And then there was just a single single swing. It's a pretty basic car park uh, park as parts go, isn't it? Maybe we'll have a little sandbox there in the middle as well. And then there's lots of trees, wasn't it? So we'll just grab a myriad of them. Big leafy numbers, lots of live oak actually would be nice to hear. And keep the tropical palms going just to remind ourselves that we are in Queensland. 
don't think that'll be it. I reckon we can possibly squeeze in another little 2 by 2 house here as well. Let's just shift everyone along a little bit. Like that. And then we'll grab some 2 by 2 home here. Fabulous. That should settle in quite nice on the hillside there. I keep getting quite a few people on that pathway as well, aren't we? Which is nice. Uh, we can probably bring a bus out here as well, actually, because there is um, a bus station in Ascension. Yeah, we'll see. Um, there are, but it's a blended multicultural society here. Groups exist, sure, and some suburbs for large different cultural members. Well, there you go. There's your answer from an Australian. There you go. A little drink here as well. So obviously I could do with nipping to uh, the little boy's room for a hot minute actually. I have quite a lot of juice and the juice today is Tesco's own um, quadruple strength apple and black currant if there's anyone in trust her. Bus route or nah? Yeah, I was just, just thinking that. There is a bus. Um, there's a bus station here, isn't there? Somewhere, yeah, here. Um, and there is buses going around Ascension, so we could definitely feed them across. They'd be welcome. Park needs a rock. We can do that. We can give it some rock. Uh, let's go for these ones. Is this okay? Please, the rock, please. Get some smaller bushes as well, actually. Maybe around the junctions of the pathway. I reckon some kind of rose hedges would be more than welcome. But the children can be. <laughs> I think I'll say, I'll say the children are going to get caught on the thorns. But I was like, that's pretty harsh. But then I just remembered the entire ILO's schooling and education system was essentially based on trying to take out children before they reached their adolescent years, wasn't it? A different time in Ilos. <laughs> it really was. Oh cool, yeah, I am just going to um, nip for a very small bathroom break. I'll be back in a second. Please enjoy the view. Back to Ascension. Oh, and hello people. I um, had to pay the Coco scratch tax on the way back to the desk because she woke up as I passed her. Why? Cool. Uh, what did I miss? Pat needs a rock. You got rocks in now. Minibus would be great. We'll get some buses in. I love the Ilos kids. <laughs> they are made out of mean stuff. They are made out of mean stuff indeed, aren't they? They really are. Yeah, it was, it was pretty hilarious, wasn't it? That whole Ilos education system. <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, let's carry on popping anyway. do around these small adjunctions. I think we'll just 
Yeah, I think, I think we'll just keep placing, I think. Just keep popping them. Um, you could also copy and paste the grid suburbs here as well, but because you're on um, terrain differences, it's easier just to keep switching them out for the one job and copy and paste in. Otherwise, you'll have to spend ages dealing with terrain heights and whatnot. There we go. All of Alice was deadly. The parking lots were covered in coconut plants. That was only one parking lot. <laughs> that was covered in coconut plants, palms. But yes, I respect the point, regardless. EMB. Yeah, Alice was um pretty dangerous city to live in, wasn't it? In hindsight, <laughs> you think like we were all having fun building the city. The residents must have been. Absolutely petrified. Week in, week out. Uh, right, let's bring in the Thessia brush again. That's gonna bound you up against the um, scenic railway. It's all the way through here. We'll spend a bit of time working on Mr. Moneybags' house as well in a second. I think we'll go for a replication actually from what we see in. Um, in Cairns. Has anyone actually here been to Cairns? I'm always like, excited to know when people have been to the places we're taking inspiration from. I know we've got Aussies in, but particularly either vacationing in Cairns, Aussies, or live there, at least. Um, so what we do need to do, actually, just noticed, is use node controller to tell all of these nodes that they are slopes. Otherwise we end up with a little bit of a, a weird looking flow up the hill. You can see it sometimes. More obvious on ones like this, just be a slope. There we go. This one here too. Cool. Uh, we'll do another little bit of green belt here in this little... It's not a triangle that is it. I don't know what shape that is. Can anyone help me out? Is there any geometry, please, in the comments? It's the year 2148, why you have all those normal looking houses. You can imagine, right, the people of this town would be tweeting, like, they said back in 2024, they're just gonna have, like, futuristic houses and it's just Still Bergens. <laughs> it's nothing that's ever changed or advanced. think of one yeah I do I do want houses on this side of the road you can maybe just save it for green belt but we're a little too far from the highway I think we'll just have the forest brush come back through well this stream is actually sponsored by plopping low density residential everyone it's um it's an arduous task but welcome to my detail in time lapses <laughs> where is this for four hours Pizza slice? Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess you'd just say it's a pizza slice, right? Yeah, fair enough. I think it's trying to overanalyze it there, right? Um, let's take some actual park assets here so people are happy. And um, we'll grab one of our workshop parks. Let's have one here. And then we'll do... Dog park? Dog park's always a faithful, isn't it? And um, we'll do that cemetery as well. Um, where do we want that? Maybe here. It's a little bit of road. And we can have a pathway cutting through from the frontage systems to the town. 
Maybe do our church here. Um, we have some church props as well, don't we? New Zealand Victorian is always the firm favourite, isn't it? Um, how, can we, how far can we shove you off before you become unhappy? A little bit there. Make sure we're on the same height as this node as well. Uh, can I repaint this? We can. Changes the colour of the roof, doesn't it? Um, what colour did Brad make ascensions? What is going on? <laughs> Why is all of ascension dead? You, you guys, do you guys really need that much death care? Um, let me throw another cryo preservatory down here a second. Yeah, they are sending out hearses. I guess it's just a big death wave, I guess, isn't it? They do happen. Um, yeah, what core did Brad make the Ascension Airport? Orange. Okay, let's go for like an orange yellow roof then. We'll keep it on theme with the branding that Brad set for us. It's not that. Not horrendous, is it? And the question will arise, which came first, the pizza or the park? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I suppose it will, Dovis. <laughs> I suppose it will. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have been a question I would have asked, but I can see how other people might. Uh, right, and then we'll send this out of the graveyard, and then it can connect in with here. And then we'll trim all this up. Yeah, this path doesn't really snap with terrain, does it? I think we might actually go for Propolis in that case, then. Let's do Propolis Super. Yeah, something like that, I think, is a bit more acceptable. Give the church a bit more breathing room here as well. Right, can we do a little bit of dirt painter here as well, just as a bit of a... A sort of well-trodden pathway, if you like. There we go. And um, we'll set up our graveyards. Let's grab... ...ones. Do one. Two. Three. Four and five. Yeah, happy with that. And then we'll grab ourselves. Heart like is he a bit? Always goes well in the graveyard, doesn't it? And we'll get some leafier green numbers knocking about. the occasional palm too. Maybe a little bit more sort of trodden path where people would have cut through, try to create a few desire lines if you like. Where people would have just trotted around the church rather than following the pathway. But I say I'm quite disappointed we didn't do nearly as much church detailing in Ilos as we have done in Thessia. Like churches have really been the discovery of the series with Thessia I think. Let's do a little bit of landscaping through here as well. Cool. Now I think we will we will fence it off. Graveyards always tend to be fenced, didn't we? So we're on a hill here, so prop fencing is going to be an absolute nightmare. So we'll just do network fencing, I think. Yeah, a little bit of farm. Nothing too overly engineered there. Bring that off the side a little bit. Cool. And we can have this as the 
general boundaries graveyard. I'm going to box in the ones on the front, which I know Percy's will drive through them, but they have to suspend your disbelief that they have to walk through the front there, I think. Does anybody want to name the church? Um, we'll give it a district. Anybody wants to name the Church of Saints? Have your name here. Feel free. There's some different trees in there as well. It's very live oak at the minute, isn't it? Um, maybe some of the common trees would also be welcome. There we go. Oh, I do love custom graveyards. <laughs> They're very satisfying to put together. Yeah, very cute. Death wave, yeah, I think it is just a death wave, yeah. Um, <laughs> Ascension Residence Ascending, that's a, that's a good one, Malay. That's a good one. Uh, good morning, Egg from Savannah, Georgia. Good morning, Patrick. How are you, buddy? Happy DM, my friend. Welcome to the day. Hope you're well. Um, early in the stream, said I clipped when Jerry didn't you already make that clip, Jen? I think you have, haven't you? You've already clipped that bit of um. You, you put it in Egasms many moons ago. I'm sure you did. I have a question. Vampires can't enter premises without permission, but could a vampire policeman enter with a warrant? Discuss. Um. I mean, I guess it comes down to does a warrant issued by a local judge override the supernatural powers of actually being a vampire? I'd probably say no. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you really got me thinking on that one, on that one, Freyden. Yes, please do rock fountains. We've not doing rock fountains for ages, actually. We never do rock fountains anymore. That was very much an ILO decorating palette, wasn't it? Um, Church of Saint Church. <laughs> That's quite, quite a good one. I miss rock fountains, me too, Molly. Oh, Saint Lestarian's very good. Church of Saint Coco. Oh, that oh, it's Coco, isn't it? Can I say no to Coco? Saint Egg. Everyone loves Karina's suggestion. Yeah, Saint Coco. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Saint Coco then. We'll do Saint Coco. Cannot refuse the tiny brown dog. Church of Saint. Okay. Cheers, Queen. It. All right, let's carry on. Uh, let's do. Is that Death Wave clearing? Sort of. It's a bad one, though, at least, isn't it? Probably the worst the city's ever had. Like, you can imagine the local Ascension newspaper, can't you? It's like, good news as the city expands across the other side of the highway. In other news, we lost 70% of the population yesterday. Because <laughs> they all just died of natural causes at the same time. Right. Remember, if you don't enjoy the simulation, it's not for you. Right, send that down there. That should really um, frame. I feel like we should have some sort of... Um, a crash barrier here. Just for, just for a little section. To stop people veering off decorative network. Um, yeah, just a bit of a double sided barrier. And then, same over here as well, actually. Just to protect the pedestrian pathway here. And then we'll copy this entire section and just stick it sides either way just so the uh, pedestrians are a bit more protected there from the road cool right so these should all be spitting out hearses now which is good yeah five out of five yeah cool we're all attending the many deaths of ascension um let's return back to residential propping because apparently it never ends and then we will go and start on uh, mr moneybags's mansion as well
some of these will require a little finagling with movement. And that's what I want to avoid there, so if that isn't going to be squashed by Soften, then we will run the Thessian tree belt behind the houses. Don't want that cliff texture poking through like we mentioned. And I guess it makes sense for this pathway to actually go somewhere, doesn't it? So why don't we actually unlock this with multi-tool and then we can draw in where we want. There we go. And then we'll just relock it. Okay, let's get some more houses through here, too. Well, they're already dying over here as well. They already are. I actually named a district St. Coco in an old city of mine. Did you, Ian B? That's very cute. I'll, I'll tell her. I'll tell you did that. 70% sounds hectic. It does, doesn't it? Welcome to the reality. Uh, an abandoned railway track would be great on the outskirts of the neighbourhood. Yeah, we, we, I can I can see the suggestion. Ark, you don't need to spam it, dude. Please don't spam, because the mods will end up taking you down for it. I don't want them to time you out. But, um... An abandoned railway track here, though. It is a mountain one. It's not really, like, a cargo one. Maybe we could... Maybe down here. It wouldn't really make sense, though, for a, a railway to split to come off here, right? If it's a scenic one. Um, yeah, we can have it there, but please, please don't spam the chat, buddy, because the mods will end up getting uh, timing you out. I don't want that to happen. But uh, yes, we can have a look at an abandoned railway somewhere. I'm not sure if it'll be over here, though. But the abandoned railway I did really like was the one in, um, in Orchid Bay by the old, old, um, old Haven town there where we did the abandoned railway station with seaside resorts which was pretty good for vanilla pretty convincing actually I like how that turned out right this is all growing up uh, we were doing this green belt weren't we before we got distracted by churches says the religious gardener uh yeah let's keep all this green belt surrounded by luxury homes too. If you're wondering what this palette is, by the way, it's a mix of um, a couple of workshop houses, some of the boomer homes that we use. There's a pack just called boomer homes that are actually really nice. Um, and then it's European suburbia mixed in with some of King Leno's assets, some vanilla, and then green cities. A little bit of mid-century modern as well. And it ends up leading to quite a nice, sort of tasteful housing palette, if you like. And then you can tag them and find it so they all turn up in the same search filter. Yeah, cool, yeah. Let's keep getting these ones in as well. And then we'll turn our attention to that mansion in a second. Bring that tree line down a little bit closer here as well, can't we? Although all this residential should spike up Nessie's population quite a bit today. Which is needed because we are only at 44k. It's not a massively populous city. And all through here as well. Let's keep that forest brush coming back through. And not sure what's going to live here. We might save this space for another stream. Don't know what to do with this. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, anyway, right. Let's just knit back to Google Maps. And then we'll see what we can do. Uh, so. you got like a little shed there, it looks like, doesn't it? A little shed, main driveway with a tennis court. But a driveway comes up, 
massive house with a pool that's looking back toward sort of cans here. You can probably see the airport from here, actually. And then that looks like a little guest house, does it? Kind of looks like a guest house, I suppose. Not sure. It's definitely part of the same property, though, isn't it? And then there's little. Is there a vantage point I can get on this house? Is there a road that sits above it? Oh, God, it is nice up here. Imagine living here, man. It's so cool. Imagine the size of the spiders, though. But this is where a lot of Australia's massive spiders are, aren't they? Yeah, you can't really get a vantage point on it, can you? Which is fair enough. It's obviously a pretty private property, isn't it? But he does have some repeated palms at the side of his house, though. And they're royal palms, aren't they? They are royal palms. So up his driveway. And position the camera, right? It looks like he's got tree-lined royal palms. You can see them all the way up there as well. We, we, we can do that. But then apart from that, you, you can't really see anything. But there's inspiration there nonetheless. So we'll do that. Egg, I've started using Google Earth look for inspiration. Not played in a while, but we all need to start. Yeah, it's just, I think you find you know, if you're just stuck for something to build, I think you, it's possible to look too much at Google Earth. Um, in some sense, you almost start to lose sense of the city in that regard. But just for filling a little bit of space, it's tremendously helpful. I really like it. So let's do... Let's put on our topography view here as well. Let's turn that one on. So let's have this weave uphill. Something to that extent, and then we'll grab just these concrete only roads, which are nice for creating little driveways. And then we'll have that little sort of shed building he had over there. And then I guess we could do... Turn off the topography view here. It's not a little bit. Let's do a little... Little tiny baby roundabout at the end here. Let's do two. Two and two. Not... It looks like it's trying to turn into stairs, doesn't it? Which is quite interesting. Everyone come to the same height as that one there. And we can have a little... Trail down this way for that guest house sort of thing that we saw as well. And we'll bring this one up. To something like that. Yeah. I'm happy with that. So let's first of all turn our attention toward the house. Have him at the same height as the road here. And then we'll build his garden over here. Might as well put some keys over this way. How far can we push you away before you become disconnected? Quite quite a bit. I remember rightly, these concrete roads don't actually respond very well to surface paint, do they? If I can recall. Do not. With that in mind, actually, I might just change some of them to become grassland. Doesn't matter. And then we'll have a little pathway that comes down from the front door here. And we'll get a pool as well. Obviously the quintessential rich person vibe. Have this. Yeah, let's also go ahead and push all that terrain back as well so we're not having to deal with the awkward terrain. Push that back to the railway for right now. We'll soften it out again in a second. See, so I can keep setting everything back to the same height as well, so... So, I mean, where would you sit in this pool? Probably the other side, right? Like that infinity edge. So if you were sat in 
cool here. Pretty cool views, actually, isn't it? Very nice views. See you right across the town there. Happy with that. Uh, yeah, Google Earth is, I find this great for very specific builds when you're unsure how to lay it out, but not follow it too close. So yeah, I'd agree, no miss, I'd agree. Yeah, in a weird way, you can almost end up looking kind of too robotic if you follow Google Earth too much, I think. Of course, it's a little different if you're going for like recreations, like the Margrid was a massive feature of Ilos, for example. So I needed to follow it quite closely there. But yeah, I, I, I totally get what you mean. It can look, it end up looking very, um, very rigid. Yeah, so I'd love to have. Hmm, how do I want to do this? I think we'll do the idea we did at the start of the episode keys here. Just keep making sure we set everything down to the same height. Don't want to create any dimensional tearing here either. Bring that up just there. There we go. Now we can extend that garden out a little bit. So we treat that as the back of the property. We also saw a tennis court out here as well, didn't we? So let's get that in as well. Um, which I think we will use an actual tennis court over a decal. Because then we'll actually see people using it. It's going to blend quite nicely in there, isn't it? It might actually delete half of the roundabout there. That one going definitely no pedestrian crossings on his land either. That looks super weird. And can we have that as a bend? No. Mm. We'll probably rethink this road then. It's not behaving how I want it to. Let's give priority to the main house first and then we'll look at the guest house as a bit of an afterthought. So we've got a tennis court here. Pretty nice views for tennis, isn't it? We're going to look out the door here. Right across the neighbourhood. See across everyone's roof. Don't mind that. Um, again, I think we will give him a bit of a fence around the back to protect from any kind of train perversion if you like for any sort of any, any kind of train voyeurists that might be wanting to peer in here give that sort of the back of the property line that up now let's re-soften what we did earlier okay. you can really see that key from down on the street road down from the street kind of which i really like although that is a pretty gnarly gnarly road there isn't it which i don't hate but i think i don't want it i think we'll actually bring the road down from this side instead now i'm seeing the house develop bring it down this one and we'll go this way we also had royal palms didn't we on this area, for which I'm never going to find them in the list, so we'll just search for them. Massive shout out as well um, to all the VOD watchers that have made it nearly two hours into a Thessy VOD. Appreciate you all. Thank you for watching the live VODs, you all legends. As well as the people that are here watching live as well, not to neglect you. Cool. Um, yeah, these. These concrete roads do not like being on the hillside, do they? You get this very weird texture on them. So maybe we'll just go down to regular road then. I think. Okay, feel we rid. 
Or pedestrian crossings here too. We'll widen some of them out. Uh, we'll do the arm part that we saw at the bottom as well. They were almost like, and again, it does look very similar to that one. Which one is that? We've always said royal palm small. He almost looked like he had California shorties outside of his house, didn't he? Why don't we go for that then? We'll go for a 12 meter split. We'll have these kind of mark out the front. Did he have any other houses around him? Yeah, there is houses on the opposite side of the street, so we'll we'll do those as well. And then it was like this, and then I want that Thessia forest to come back through because it's very overgrown. Next to the house. Have that come all the way back through this way. I want to make sure these trees don't disturb you, which they don't for the most part at least. Actually, no, that's a little... That oak is a little bit dominant there, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know, that'll be good. Great spot if you're a train watcher. Yeah, you could sell this house for a fortune train train watchers, couldn't you? Although it is the same steam engine coming back time and time again. Yeah. What's like an entrepreneur's house in GTA 5? Yeah, it's very LA, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess it's also very cans as well. <laughs> All about the day. Future retirement home right there. Is this where you're retiring, Patrick? You have to start saving, mate. And how much do you reckon this would sell for? I don't actually know what Aussie house prices are like. Um, Brad's still here, isn't he? Yeah, Brad, uh, Aussie house prices is insane as the UK. How much would you pay for a house like this in Cairns? This has easily got to be... Two, three million, right? For all this land and the view. Easily. Uh, we'll blend in the change in texture here with the little little hedge running. Oh yeah, let's let's do some hedging. We have a hedge one. Have that. There. Let's also grab a gate as well. And then we'll go back to that tiny baby cute hedge. And then, I mean, I don't want this to, no, this is going to block the view of the, the thing, is it, can I, can these hedges go into the ground? They do not, that's, Okay, I'll tell you what we won't do then. We won't block the view. We'll just make the driveway end here instead. There we go. And then we'll bring the hedges around. Side of that. That's still going to block it, isn't it? Mm, I don't know how to tie that off. I think we probably will do then. Is Let's move the pool. We'll have the pool here so it's kind of unobstructed with views like that, and then we can finish off the hedge in here. Only been to Sydney, but I really love it to visit Melbourne. Yeah, I'd love to visit Australia full stop. Although it would have to be in winter at a time and place where it doesn't get too hot because I do not enjoy the heat at all. Let's have some sunlight just here. Let's get one. Two and three. We've got some parasols for them as well. We've also got some cute little tables as well. Uh, perhaps they're enjoying a drink or two. Let's also grab a planter. Go for a small one while it's just in his garden. And pick out a more exotic tree. Maybe this guy's involved in the exotic tree trade. Could have a cactus some Milos. Go for that, some like cactus smuggling. <laughs> Do you want to make that thing? This guy is a cactus smuggler. He's involved with Jerry. 
Could do. Could do. That Bobo White House has tripled in value in a decade. Crazy house prices. Insane. 2.5 million upwards. This would be 20. I don't think it'd be 20 million, would it? 20 million's a little a little steep. You're definitely paying at least a couple million for something like this, I think. Probably not 20. House prices are rising. have definitely gone up. I'm two hours away from London. Many homes start around 1.5. 1.5 million for a two-hour drive from London, Claire. That's insane. <laughs> the fact that's, that's nuts. That's actually disgusting, isn't it? Absolutely awful. And, I mean, I guess uh, the cactus is the most exotic tree for Australia, isn't it, I suppose? Well, we'll, we'll go for that. If, if anyone massively protests it, we'll, we'll remove it. Yeah, let's get a grill. We do have a couple of different grills here, actually. Maybe they can have maybe can have a grill and a smoker. And then we'll grab some tables. Yeah, let's do these little tables set here. Got an umbrella for them as well. We even got the little laundry line over here as well. Just give them a little bit of laundry. Maybe just got a little maid in here. Now we'll grab the brush here as well, so give him another car. Do one. We'll blend it in with the texture of the um tennis court here. And then we'll grab those trees. We should totally do an overcharge like meet and greet at Brad's. Are you paying for tickets to um Australia? Is I mean is, is Brad okay with that? <laughs> you have just essentially invited yourself to Brad's house. I know Brad is very a very friendly person, but I don't know if he's that friendly. I guess we'll find out. Right, yeah, let's not have this one here, and then we'll use hedges to box in. The rest of the uh, driveway here. I feel like I always neglect hedges as a possible boundary. In here, I don't know why. I do like a hedge. I always go for either like tree linings or fencing, but hedges are very effective. So he did have what looked like a little sort of garage down here as well, didn't he? Um, which I guess an industrial unit is most suited for. Hmm. I think they're all too big. Do I have any prop sheds? We do. What's this one? Oh, this is the one we have in the park, isn't it? Yeah, that's not actually too dissimilar. Let's just then... Um... Let's pop back into Google Earth for a second. Yeah, it's just um, like a little tool shed, a little, little garage, isn't it? There's nothing, nothing significant. Oh, this does have a toilet on it, though, which is a little sort of out of theme, isn't it, if you like? Anything else? Got these. A railway good shed, we definitely don't want that one. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just use this. We'll just use this, it's fine. It doesn't need as much thought as I'm giving it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only a shed. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there was still dimensional turn by the pool, is there? No, oh, yeah, tiny little one. Good spot name is, yeah, we'll, we'll fix that in a second. We'll fix that.
Uh, well, customs dogs have to search with a small cactus. They will puncture their noses every time they find one. They will, Gorgonzola. You're absolutely right. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you? <laughs> what, a, what a time to join the stream, right? Talking about cactus smuggling. Got a bit of a different angle of pavement there, and... They've not really got any props that are suited to garden detailing. Um, I wouldn't mind giving him an actual little shed, I suppose. Just next to it. Maybe a couple of these little ones, actually. And... And like he's not gonna need a spool of wire, is he? This is all industrial detailing. Need to strike a toolbox or something, that'll be perfect. But, uh, otherwise, I think we'll just tree off the property around the edge here. And then let that Thessian forest kind of take over at the edge of his property back up to over there. Uh, we'll probably fence off as well because there is a fence around the property so i think we'll just use simple suburban and we will use a network fence as well because prop fencing will be horrific on terrain like this go that way and we'll just end the fence in the building and the same thing over here as well. Let's do fence on the back side of the palms. Or angle slot back on. And then sort of just along the edge of that forest boundary. And back up into the side of the hedge. And then around the property in the satellite view, there's just big trees. Get a variety here as well, maybe more impressive hardwood. Two different bits over here. Uh, let's also actually go down to street with wide sidewalks here as well, so no one parks on them. Makes it look a little bit less public then, doesn't it? And we'll also take up the pedestrian crossing here as well. It's wide enough that junction I took. I think it's pretty nice inspiration to take from Cairns, is it? That property really stands out on the whole hillside there, doesn't it? No, yeah, it does. It does look good there. We do clear part of the hedge gang. Thunderbox? Yeah, it is a Thunderbox, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I can't believe we've not made a joke about the Thunderstorm and the Thunderbox yet. You see us too. Why is that one's going over our head? <laughs> really have. Uh, we can all meet at the Australia, <laughs> Australia Cactus Smugglers Convention. <laughs> we can, Patrick, yeah. I'm fine, my friend just left, got them to eat the special burgers I made with ground with ground pears, black corn, and mushrooms. Ground, oh, gr ground venison, okay. Venison, pear, black corn, and mushroom burger. That does sound pretty good, actually. I'd definitely eat that. That sounds good. Egg, have you ever tried Indian food? I have tried Indian food, Ark. I am um, Indian's probably probably my favourite cuisine to be honest. I do, I do like an Indian. I like um a chickpea dal is very nice actually. Want more of a vegetarian option. Um otherwise uh, I actually I've made a a korma with my little nephew during the weekend. He uh, helped me to cook it during another Star Wars night, which was very cute. Uh, so I did mention there is homes on the other side of the street here. I think what we'll do is we'll start placing them relatively up close together and then just get sparser and sparser as we head out of town. There we go. And then we'll bring this forest brush back through here. Um, I reckon we'll save this space for more service industry whenever we need something else like this to 
you know, just meet water treatment demand or something. Guess we can keep this side of Ascension relatively industrial whenever we need it. And then all this forested through here again too. Up against the highway. Cool. Uh, let's finish off this green belt also. And we'll also have the um, forest behind these houses too. It's a very heavily forested suburb in Cairns. So I don't want to see many just plain green patches wherever they are. I want them to be trees. Got this behind as well. Cool. We were liking this little hillside suburb. It's turned out quite nicely, hasn't it? That is pretty cute. Hey Josh, welcome into the stream, mate. How are you? Nice to see you. What time is it for you now? Eight o'clock in the morning, I think. I think so. Blast, I bet you enjoyed that. Like he is, yeah. We watched Rogue One. Um, he's very much into his Star Wars at the minute, which is very cute of him. And I think, actually, yeah. <laughs> he's literally, he messages me on Instagram. Can he have a shout out? Yes, you can. Shout out to Sam, everyone. Uh, who is hopefully still watching the stream because he sent me that two hours ago. Uh, but yeah, he's funny. He's literally messaging me on Instagram before the stream asking for a shout out. It's hilarious. But yes, he's uh, he's going through um, Star Wars in timeline order, which is the first time I've been through Star Wars in timeline order as well. And it's a very different viewing experience. I would highly suggest it if you haven't um, ever been through it in the order of the story. Because now he's going, get, we're about to watch a, a New Hope is the next one in sequence for us. So he's about to start the original trilogy for the first time. But he's going into it kind of knowing all of Darth Vader's backstory and who Ben Kenobi is, you know? Like, he's going to know all that, which is just a really different way to experience the um, story, isn't it? It really is. Uh, Plankton has finally caught a live stream. Welcome in, Plankton. We are in Ascension today, mate. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Palmer with a little nephew, literally cute and spicy. Well, cute and mild, EMB. <laughs> no, Corvus not spicy, is it? Like the least spicy one. No chicken tikka masala, is that the national dish of England? Yeah, wasn't it made in like Glasgow or something? Chicken tikka masala. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. Aussie chicken tikka, wasn't it? But tikka masala, I think, was formed in, in Glasgow, I think, isn't it? I think it was. Oh, mainly, mainly with another 10 US dollar super chat, I can only hope one day to build cities as well as the egg. It's super kind of you, dude. That's your second super chat today. Let me give you a little love heart on that. Appreciate you, Maniac. You're very cute, mate. Thank you for the donation, my friend. Can't beat a heavily treated city. It's nice to see some E6 building back in the Discord as well, mate. I've, um, I always enjoy an E6 build. But uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that. It's very nice indeed. Um, We could... Just glance back to Google Earth here. I think actually just look into the right of the um, sort of big house. There is actually quite a bit more density there, so I think we'll actually do a bit more up that side too. So, all this back. Here we have much longer thing you're going to go in, mate. How long have I been live for now? Uh, 214, probably another 20, 30, 40, possibly 50 minutes to an hour, Red. Depends, mate. <laughs> you know what these streams are like. Depends. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, mate. Probably at least another 20 minutes. Something like that. Rogue One is my favourite beside the original trilogy. Rogue One is very good. Also very confusing for a nine-year-old as well, though, because there's a lot of very important story bites in Rogue One that are a little a little lost on the nine year old I think. Yeah. Remember the one stream you're talking about not knowing Star Wars? Who me? I, I know Star Wars, Claire. 
Like watching Star Trek in timeline order will get much worse because of all the time traveling. You need to start with a minute of Voyager where Q hit the shop at the Big Bang. Never been into Star Trek. I do like my sci-fi, but Star Trek has never been something that's particularly pulled me in, you know? Let's actually connect these roads here into the other roundabout we've got this down this side. Yeah, I'm sure I would like Star Trek as well. I've just never actually sat and watched it. When I was growing up, it was Star Wars was the the galactic drama, I guess I was <laughs> so, so most invested in, I suppose. But yeah, if you are into Star Wars and you haven't done the timeline order, it's something I would highly suggest. It has um kind of like watching the original trilogy. Sorry, not the original trilogy, watching the sequels, which have their problems, but Revenge of the Sith is fantastic. To kind of see Anakin's whole storyline then culminate in the Obi-Wan series, which if you guys if you haven't seen that is fantastic. I absolutely love Obi-Wan. Um yeah, it just really hits hits hard. It's good. Sorry to break out into massive Star Wars conversation, but I think we're all into Star Wars, right? Besides Gorgonzola, who's Star Trek. Yeah. Happy with these houses here. So let's bring them in here. Yeah. Uh, I think do some little little call us out roads in here as well, shall we? I think. This little town worked out really nicely. It has, hasn't it, Poplar? It has. Hopefully it's helping. Hopefully it's well, it's so nice. It's cured norovirus. Would be ideal, wouldn't it? That's what we want. Add another little call to sack in here, too. 150%. Got a really nice episode of Orchid Bay out tomorrow as well. We're redeveloping a little bit near the downtown. I'm kind of focus on how we can redevelop over endless kind of ceaseless expansion. So those interested in Orchid Bay, you've got something to look forward to tomorrow. Yeah, and then lots of this forest between the uh, industry and the houses. Then uh, back up here as well, when we took it away. Although we need to um, terraform that as well, actually. Hey, Mimo from Essex, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream. Claire's more of a Buffy fan, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, yeah. I actually had a load of friends in college who were really into Buffy, but um, again, it's nothing I've not not something I've seen before. Watching Doctor Who in order plays like a full time job by now with all the seasons. I find Doctor Who to be, and I don't want to upset Bad Wolf here because I know she's a massive Doctor Who fan, but at least the ones I watched, I've kind of seeing them back now, the acting's a bit wooden, and I find it hard to take seriously, you know. No, that's probably just me, I hope. I don't want to offend anyone that's massively into um Doctor Who. They should go the full the full stretch. Give us Doctor When. Doctor What? Doctor Doctor How? <laughs> Doctor How. I guess as well, right? I wanna know about those guys. Those guys never get any press with it. It's always Doctor Do Do Doctor Who. Pretty chilled having a lunch after coffee. Not having lunch after coffee. What's for lunch, Memo? I'm well, thank you, mate. Thank you for asking. Uh, hey, Sam, who's actually in the live chat as well. Hilarious. Yes, welcome in, mate. You right, buddy?
Um, did you schedule complaining after the Phantom Menace? Like, they do, <laughs> what they do Big Bang Theory. Um, I, I don't think he... I think he I think kids enjoy Phantom Menace because it's got Darth Maul in who's just like you know, sort of a very identifiable Sith. Um so he's always liked for that. And then it's got Jar Jar Binks in, which for most hardcore Star Wars fans is pretty horrific, but you know, kids like it, so I think if you're a kid going through Phantom Menace. You know, I wasn't gonna sit there as well, like, you know, this this is terrible. <laughs> you're gonna hate every second of this film. I wasn't I was kind of like preparing him that it's not gonna be horrific at least. So uh yeah we didn't need to schedule in too much complaining time. What's going on with the like the, the curvy roads here? I don't know why it's doing that. Because it's going into a four lane probably. Let's just get rid of the four lane then let's just do asymmetric. Um There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Cool. Darth Jar Jar. Yeah, isn't there um a big conspiracy that like Jar Jar is actually a Sith? I think. I'm sure, I've heard that somewhere before. What's that? Hillside Suburban Ascension is coming on tremendously well, isn't it? Let's have a little posture check and hydration break as well, please, everyone. So who is the playing the Doctor there? Morgan Freeman will play Doctor there. I think. <laughs> I think he will. Nothing is better than mum's food, especially fish, curry and rice. Yeah, nothing beats mum's food, does it? Mum's food is unless your mum's crap at cooking, in which case it probably doesn't. Yeah. Doctor Where for? Yeah, Doctor <laughs> Doctor Wen. Doctor Wentz and Pod Racing. Yeah, Pod Pod Racing's really cool. Yeah. Doctor Whilst, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Poo, the proctologist, yeah. You, you, can, <laughs> you can keep it going, yeah. Why not play City Skylines 2? We we cover both on the channel, Matthias. There is City Skylines 1 and 2. You just happen to be on a City Skylines 1 stream right now. There was a City 2 stream last Sunday, if you want to go check it out. Darth Jar Jar theory is amazing, it is, isn't it? It is. Uh, right, so we've got some IMT to do around here, haven't we? Let's not leave these massive junctions just bare and naked, because they look a little weird when they're this far stretched out with node controller. Uh, right, let's push these up together. Do the same here as well. Yeah, I do sometimes think the prequels. I think the the Phantom Menace deserves some of the hate it gets, just because some of the writing is a bit is a bit Disney, isn't it? Even though I know it wasn't made by Disney, but it feels quite Disney, just with some of the writing. But I think Attack of the Clones, and especially Revenge of the Sith, definitely have merit. Absolutely love. Um, Revenge of the Sith, I think it's very, very good. Uh, no weird turn in here. Thank you very much. Just straight on. Here we go. And then we can mark up these ones. So you come... Straight up into here. And that should be fine there. We could do... Some chevrons here, which I think we might do. Just end it at this point here. And then, so it will do here, actually, let's find that other dotted line I want to end you here as well. And we'll actually let that other one carry on. So you actually go No, that's not what we wanted to do. 
There we go. And this is a double solid line, isn't it? Uh, we'll do solid. Just change the width of these boys a little bit. Bring width down and then offset between. There we go. And we'll keep this line going. Let's do the chevrons here as well, actually. Now let's do chevron. That is right, right? The chevron should be pointing in the direction of flow, I think, right? I think that's right. Doctor Who would be a good title for a Doctor Who of making documentary. It would. It would, Gorgonzola. I also love liver and onions and fish oil. I don't think I've ever tried liver, actually. I don't think I've ever tried liver. Would love to know Egg's favourite dessert. Ooh, probably sticky toffee pudding, I think. It is a favourite. All right, let's do some I am uh, traffic manager here. There's people making turns. I do not want them to. You guys stay in this lane for that. They're cutting across the chevrons there to make it into the second lane. Uh, cool, and then we're actually coming down into... Let's not have a one lane exit here, actually. Not two lanes, sorry. Let's come down into one lane. And then we'll let the two lanes go here as it comes into the split at the intersection. I really like this intersection, actually. It's got a really nice flow to it. Big fan of it. Um... You okay there? Is that a potential node issue? I think it is, isn't it? Do you need to be at the same height as everyone else? Yeah. There we go. A bit better, isn't it? Yeah. Um, right, let's bring this one back in. Oh, this one was a solid. That one as well. Yeah. Uh, make sure you never ask for a sticky toffee pudding like I did once. <laughs> oh, stiffy toffee, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that is a poor slip of the tongue, aren't they? <laughs> that sounds funny though. That is very funny. What did they say? Out of interest. And you guys come down into here. And then we'll do the same real changes over here too. Your two point will be there. And then we'll have our filler this way. Which will grab the other filler and just copy that into this one. But invert it the other way. Cool. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's sensical. That should make sense. I think we might get the road marking please on us for some lines not being solid where they should or dashes where they shouldn't, but I think that's okay. Brownie Sunday for Jan. Uh, best one is old school. Yes, yes, Claire. The old school sponge cake with the hundreds and thousands on and that white icing with custard. Yes. Like, secretly, some of the best ever dessert is English public school, pro like primary school dessert. Some of the best cake you'll ever eat in your life. It's amazing. Very good. Uh, the Indians love chicken liver as a side dish. It's like a spicy liver curry called met or mete. I have to try that one. 
Malay is inquiring. We also have a brain fry of goat and testicles. Can't say I'm massively keen to try that one though. Although that sounds like something Anthony would order for dessert. <laughs> Based on what he said. My wife never let me live that down. I'm not surprised, mate. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm never going to let you live it down, no, either. I'm already taking a piss with goat testicles, as well. Hey, Valley, welcome back, mate. That was a short shift. Oh, wow, and everyone's dead here as well. Um, garbage issues, too. We should... Do we not have a recycling centre here? I thought we put one in. Actually, does Ascension have no garbage collection? It doesn't, does it? That's probably a bad thing. Okay. Let's change that. <laughs> Let's give it um, a recycling centre here in the industrial park. And all this death should be... Have we got a problem with death care in the city? I feel like no one's being picked up. There's eight hearses out. We do have quite a lot. Is there, is there four cemeteries in the map somewhere? Ah, there we go. That's why. Because there's four cemeteries around. Let's clear these up. Reset that one. Yeah, so I guess all the Death Care and Ascension is trying to get to the other towns, isn't it? That's cleared up. Yeah, <laughs> all of the downtown. All of the downtown graveyards are full. That's why. That's why, everyone. Let's reset these. Still one of my biggest annoyances about CS1 is having to reset bloody cemeteries. Really wish there was a mod that would just automate it. Or just totally get rid of the mechanic as a whole, really. Right, is that better now? 49% usage, there we go. That should chill it out a little bit. I think that's what was wrong, wasn't it? Brain fry is actually amazing. I mean, what you, you need to sell it to me a little bit more than just fried brain. Like, what's it fried in? What are you having it with? Can you describe the texture to me? Anything else like that would be helpful. Um, let's also do the same INT markings down here as well. Um, actually, have I... Just noticed there's a slip road missing here. There should be one here, right? A lot of people, because people can't travel in the right direction here. Yeah, it needs an extra slip lane. We'll do that as well while we're here. That was downgrade here, though. And then we'll do this one as single lane, too, up until there. There's a touch of node awkwardness here as well, isn't there, I think? Um, no, it's okay now. And so we should just be able to grab the entire junction here and paste it over. Yep, there we go. Although there is some configurations here that need to be made with traffic manager. No turn in here. And correct their lane as well. Please stay in your left lane there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, so we do need another lane coming out of here as well. My problem is I like all desserts. Absolute preach, Gorgonzola. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of our problems, isn't it? We just we like all of them. They are very good. Um, I think bread and butter pudding is pretty slept on as well. Bread and butter pudding is fantastic. Super cheap too. Um, I 
Yeah, you, you alright? What the hell's going on with you? Just wanna think about what you're doing? There we go. Now you're fine. And then can I just get a... Hmm, actually that means they're gonna be crossing traffic there, doesn't it? Could do it from here. That would work. And this is just one node here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, let's do it off of this one then. Not here. I can actually reinstate that dry brush I just deleted, can't I? Uh, let's do Thessia dry. Yeah, because they've done it that side, they're going to be crossing over the traffic, which is a little, a little dangerous, I think. Uh, if you're in the UK, highly recommend popping into Tesco's just for the Arctic coffee. One litre for £2. It's god tier. Do you like a, a nice coffee? Hellbound. I'll check that out. Although, anyway, speaking of Tesco, has anyone had the enormous cinnamon bun from Tesco before? I hey, once tried it at a friend's house. It's insane. It's like the best thing you'll, you'll taste. Like taste in the heavens. Because you'll, you'll hate it if you hate cinnamon, but... It's like a super king size cinnamon cinnamon roll. It's just oh, it's deadly. It's just just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, right. So this slip lane here will stop people actually going into Ascension to turn around, won't it? So let's do do you up to like there. So square this off as well. Down here as well, we want to push our purple friend out a little bit. So, so I also want to do some traffic merger here as well, because what I don't want happening is people coming off the slip lane here to take this ramp to get back on the highway, because they should just go down this way if they want to do that. So here, no left turn is allowed. And you can only access this slip ramp if you're coming from this direction. To think I'm happy with. Probably update the IMT around here as well. I'll just bring some cute solid lines back around. So no bunch of amazing yes please on the regular side. Is that the tear and share one? Yes Ben it is. Yes it's the tear and share cinnamon bun from Tesco. Insane. Like so so good. Quite a lot of calories though. So if you're someone who counts the old calories, it is not gonna be your friend, but my word is it good. Okay, there we go. It's also just to have a little guideline here as well, guiding people into into that road there. Cool. I'm much happier with that, I think. Uh, and we will... Can we update these to be middle? Uh, there's a weird thing with the... Um... Yeah, we'll have to do markings for them, won't we? It's okay. Uh, let's do something here as well, why we've created another junction. Share? I think not, literally, Freyden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm rather impressed with your highway networks. Yeah, this one turned out really nicely. We actually did this one, um... After I was kind of saying how like CS2's road tools have really inspired me with slip ramps and stuff, so just as a little connection, I mean for for CS1 like this is flowing deliciously, isn't it? It's lots of tightly packed nodes together, but yeah, like CS2's road tools inspired me to build this. I was like, yeah, this actually flows really nicely, and it does, as you can tell from the bird's eye view. Nothing beats an Asda pizza though. Yeah, you're right, Valley Lad. I wouldn't say nothing beats it. That's very strong praise. But you are right. Asda pizzas from the deli counter are top tier. Very, very good. And now I can't say very, very good without also thought it was very, very cheap. One pound fish. I'm going to have that stuck in my head for the rest of the bloody day now. I've forgotten about that as well. That's it. I was singing it to Coco the other day. I was like saying very, very cute. Very, very brown, one pound dog. 
I just, just can't help it. I say it all the time now. Let's thin the width of these down too. There we go. And then you come into here. And just do a bit more traffic margin to make sure they all stay in their lane here. Don't veer across. And we'll also keep uh, this one going as well. And we'll tell the other one to end before that happens. So you will up here. Not bad at all. That was so cute, Egg. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I like this one. The, um, the main entrance into Ascension is quite nice. I'm a big fan of it. Very proud of it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think we will uh, leave the stream there, guys. Uh, we've done quite a lot of work today, but a lot of fun uh, with this suburb. It worked out really nicely. And we finally got some uh, marked up IMT sessions as well. I think we will. We will call the stream there. Uh, let's give someone a host. Um, two, actually. Let me go to my self promo channel. I'll tell you what, Bradders is my video today. The whole host, Bradders. Uh, Bradders, as many of you know, is a wonderful person and has made assets for us before. Uh, there is a link to his most recent video in the chat. I believe it's DS2, isn't it? It is CS2. Wait, is it? Yeah, soon that base, yes, too, isn't it? Yeah, uh, there's a link to Brad's video in the live chat. Please go show him some support. He's a wonderful little person uh, with fantastic character. Uh, so go raid his chat, spam his comments if you like. But thank you for hanging out in the streams. Uh, I had a really nice chat today and lots of really fun uh, work had in the hillside suburbia of Ascension. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, a like on the stream always goes a long way. And if you've got nothing to do with the rest of your Sunday, come back and leave me a comment on the VOD as well once it's processed later today. And I'll put it in the Discord community tab and on twitter when it's ready and um, otherwise orchid bay out tomorrow edinburgh again on wednesday and your usual rotation of fun and games but, uh, let's have a little shout out for some of the people in the chat shall we uh valley lad claire arc tech uh, memo from essex poplar iman hellbound brad Braden, malay gorgonzola gnomis ben again um anthony uh, mike all of you you all legends guys thanks for supporting the streams and indeed, thank you still for supporting CS1 content as well. It's nice to be able to pull still nearly 200 people on CS1 streams. I realise it is dwindling in popularity, but I'm glad you still like enjoying them anyway. It's always a lot of fun building out of Thessia, little awkward bits like this. But uh, yeah, that's it. Let's thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate you all. Please enjoy next week on your Mondays, because Mondays are always pretty grim, aren't they? But hopefully, Orchid Bay can take the sting out of it for you anyway. Well, I'll shut up anyway. I'm rambling now. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.